What's up the John Squad? This is John Pelini here, your YouTube World House of Champion here on YouTube. Now coming to my WWE Monday Night Raw review for July 1st, 2019. So let's do this, shall we, John Squad? So we kicked off the Monday Night Raw last night with the first match we had on Raw was, uh, Balls count anywhere match we had was Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley, and the match ends in a no contest because Braun Strowman speared Bob Bobby Lashley through the LED stage tron, and then the ambulance and the EMTs had to put Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley each of their own ambulance and had to take them to a local medical hospital. So then the second match you had on Raw was the Viking Raiders versus the New Day for the first time ever. And the New Day defeated the Viking Raiders by DQ. And I believe this is the Viking Raiders' first loss ever. So, because this, because this was due to Samoa Joe coming out and attacking Xavier Woods and put him in the chokehold and then you know and then Kofi Kingston runs down to make the save and then and then Avar and Samojo beat down on be beat down on be Avar beats down on Kofi with Samoa Joe and then we have ourselves a, a and then we have ourselves a tag team match and the third match in Hanro was the New Day versus the Viking Raiders and Samoa Joe and the winner was the Viking Raiders and Samoa Joe. Then the next match in Han Row was Cesaro versus Noe Jose. And this match never happens at all because our truth comes out with this 24-7. The Kong line's going around the ring. And our truth is when the Kong lines and Drake Maverick is on his heading to his honeymoon and stuff like this. So it's just pretty funny. And our truth and his wife is telling him it's either her or the 24-7 championship. So our truth is taunt and drink Maverick on ringside with the 24-7 championship, so, so, like, tempting him, want to pin him, so, then all the Raw superstars come running out, chasing after our truth and, and then send him to the back, so then Cesaro, this match never takes place at all for the Cesaro versus Noise A match, because Cesaro knocks Hoes out of the ring and just demolishes him and just destroys No Way Jose, so then the fifth match, so then, so then we had uh, Drew McIntyre, Shane Man in ring segment promo, and Shane Man talks about last Monday on Raw with Roman Reigns and talks about the Undertaker. Then Drew McIntyre says that he's not afraid of the Undertaker. So then the Undertaker come comes out and does the lights go out and he does a lightning bolt in the ring. Then the Undertaker comes out and. And talks to Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre and tells them that at Extreme Rules, they will both rest in peace. And that's what happens there to end that segment. And the fifth match on row was Lacey Evans versus Natalia, And the winner was Lacey Evans. Another match on row was a two out of three falls match we had was The Miz versus Elias. And the winner was The Miz. And that was awesome. So then the next match we had on Raw was Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch versus Maria Mike Canales. And during the match, Maria gets on the mic and says and says that she is pregnant. And Becky Lynch wasn't no part of that. So Becky Lynch pulls Mike Canales into the ring and makes him tap out. Puts a disarm around Mike Canales and makes him tap out. And I thought that was pretty funny right there. So the winner was Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Then after the match, Maria yells at Mike, Mike and calls him a disappointment. Which, I don't know, I guess I think he is, you know? So then another match you had on Raw was... So then, before we go on to another match, we had was a moment of bliss, and Alexa Bliss' special guest was Nikki Cross, and and Alexa Bliss shows footage from last Tuesday on SmackDown with 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 um Nikki with Nikki Cross beating Bailey, where Alexa Bliss earned her opportunity to face Bailey at Extreme Rules for the SmackDown Women's Championship. 
So then, so then Nikki Cross thanks Alexa Bliss for everything, and so then Carmella comes out and tells her that why are you? So then Carmella comes out and tells Nikki Cross why are you not the one getting the title shot? And Alexa Bliss does. So then Carmella has a match with Alexa Bliss. So then that's where we have our, another match in Hound Roll was Carmella versus Alexa Bliss, and the winner was Carmella. Then the next match in Hound Roll was. Nikki Cross versus Carmella, and the winner was Nikki Cross. So then we had Drake Maverick in in the R Truth segment where R Truth finally hid from all those raw superstars who was chasing him. Drake Maverick was gonna go on his honeymoon. And his wife had to go freshen up before they went on their honeymoon. So Drake Maverick actually wins back the 24-7 championship, pins our truth hits him with, hits him from behind with, with his suitcase, so then he wins back the 24-7 championship belt, he tells his wife that, forget about my bag, we're going we're gonna to go on the honeymoon, so the, he leaves with his wife, with, with and, and he brings his wife's suitcase along, with, leaves his suitcase behind, and that was too funny right there, and our truth loses his 24-7 championship, and spoiler alert, I think Drake Maverick is going to lose his 24-7 championship belt on their honeymoon so that's going to be funny dude can't wait to look at that so I just think it's going to happen there so look out for Drink Maverick to lose the 24-7 championship belt you never know what could happen it's 24-7 so that was, was pretty funny so then the main event we had on row was a, a United States championship match AJ Styles versus Richard Shea and AJ Styles was going to be the AJ Styles was going to become the new United States championship until Rick, Ricochet put his foot underneath the bottom rope. So then next thing you notice that uh the match has to be restarted and then next thing you know is now and the winner was officially of this match was and still our WWE United States champion was Ricochet. So then after the match is over, AJ Styles shakes Ricochet's hand, but then next thing you know is that Luke Gallows and Carl are telling AJ Styles to do it, do it. So then what happens next is that AJ Styles, boom, whams, sucker punches Ricochet, beats him down, beats him down hard. But Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson do the magic killer onto Ricochet, just beats him down hard. Then AJ Styles does a style clash onto the second rope, onto Ricochet, just beats him down with Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, just keeps beating him down, beating him up. And that's what happens in Dirty Money Raw with Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows and... And AJ Styles doing the, it's just too sweet. And that's what ends WWE Monday Night Raw last night. With the club saying that they're back and that they're strong and that we're back. So that's what happens in WWE Monday Night Raw last night. So once again, the John Scott, please like this video. Leave your comments down below what you thought about Diddy Monday Night Raw last night. My favorite part was actually the hurt heel turn of AJ Styles, you know? And I thought my favorite part was actually the Drake Maverick winning back the 24-7 championship, becoming a two-time 24-7 champion. So that was my favorite part, and also AJ Styles turning heel. So that was my favorite part, and the club reuniting, so that was my favorite part, and... I thought everything was great, so I thought this Raw was pretty amazing and awesome. So once again, the John Squad, please like this video, leave your comments down below what your favorite part of the Monday Night Raw was last night, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to tap that bell and tap so you don't miss up on all my videos. Peace out, the John Squad. Love each and every single one of you all.